Photogrammetry is the science of taking measurements from photographs. Structure for motion models are completely three-dimensional objects. They can be viewed from multiple angles and they can be interrogated at different scales. A traditional survey, say photographs or videos, doesn't give you that peace of mind. It only shows you the angles that it's been surveyed at. But to give someone an actual digital model, they have the entire thing in the palm of their hand. Any surface parameter can be measured on a structure for motion model. Length, height, surface area, volume, aspect. Anything you could think of measuring in the field, we can measure in a computer environment. Tritonia Scientific has used structure for motion to look at piers and harbours around Argyle. Things like physical deformation within a slipway or within a pontoon. Photogrammetry is particularly useful for conducting a baseline survey of a structure and later repeating that survey so that we can compare changes over time. We're able to produce a full three-dimensional model which we can show the client. They can see for themselves the damage on the pier and they can even share it with their engineers. So an example of one of the projects that we've done using photogrammetry, we modelled four rock anchors that were situated in the vicinity of the Falls of Laura, which is a highly tidal region. We initially went out to scope the site and just check where the anchors were using side scan sonar. Three, two, one, go. So we then sent divers down to model the anchors in situ. The anchors are between sort of 25 to 30 metres deep, and so it was very dark down there because of the depth and also it was very, very peaty. We had our camera set up with very powerful lights and we were able to illuminate the anchors. So from the models we were able to work out the angle of penetration into the rock face. We were able to assess the corrosion of the rock anchors and we were able to produce a full report for the client showing them exactly where their anchors were and provide all of the measurement details that they requested. We also work with the oil and gas industry to model offshore structures. We are able to take volume measurements from the models to assess the quantity and, and therefore have an assessment for the weight of that biofouling on the structure. We also perform surveys for the aquaculture sector, including fish farms and oyster farms. So one of the benefits of photogrammetry is that it's non-invasive. We can assess a seabed or a structure simply through the use of photography. There's no direct physical sampling involved. Because of this, sensitive habitats such as coral reefs or biogenic reefs can be sampled again and again with no harm to them. And we can assess how a population is growing or how things are in decline without directly affecting or interacting with those subjects. We work with academic institutions such as University College London and Bangor University to develop advanced photogrammetry techniques and employ them in ecological studies. One of our major projects for the last three years has been the ecological assessment of coral reefs in the Indian Ocean. There was a massive bleaching event and we have modelled thousands of square metres of the seabed in order to assess the recovery, or in this case decline, of the coral reefs in the area. We've performed photogrammetry surveys uh, all around the coast of Scotland and as far away as Orkney. We've also worked in the Caribbean and in the Indian Ocean. We've used legacy RV footage to model oil and gas structures in Thailand and terrestrial structures in Antarctica. We have a number of peer-reviewed publications involving the application of structure for motion photogrammetry both in ecological context but also the methodology involved in the collection of the data. Photogrammetry can save the client money because one single dive's worth of data can be assessed and interrogated for weeks afterwards. Anytime another question comes up, we can simply go back into the computer model and look at it from different angles, uh, apply different measurement characteristics to it. That is simply impossible to do dive after dive.